Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to be going through my 2022 goals. This is my third time trying to film this because I hate every way I've done it. So I'm going to just do it nice and easy. It's going to be quick because I'm fed up with talking about the same things. So a lot of these I have taken inspiration from my goals from last year which I will go through at the end of the video. I will just tell you whether or not I have achieved them and obviously you'll be like hmm isn't that the exact same goal you have done just now? And the answer is maybe. So my first goal is that I would love to host a readathon or read along. I think it would be really fun. So then goal number two is to try and be a little more creative with some like reading vlogs and video ideas. I feel like a lot of the time I do just post very similar stuff all of the time. You know, I do my TBR, then I do my wrap up, then I do my haul and all of this. And yeah, and I want to try and you know be a little more creative try and think of like some really fun ideas you know challenges for myself or whatever and also you know make some more themed reading vlogs i have a couple floating around in my head i want to do a part two of the musical books that i did last year i'll leave that link down below and also i have another one where i am currently at my granny's house and there's old books new books middle of the road books everywhere everywhere there's literally a press out there filled with books and so I was kind of just thinking of like just grabbing some and just reading them and seeing how what I think of them so yeah so I wanted to like try and do a couple more like fun ideas see the thing is a lot of the time I'm not super creative I feel like that's mean to myself but I feel like it's it's kind of true I sometimes I just like get like a really good idea and I'm like yes I really want to do some more ranking author videos as well. The problem with that though is I have to then like, you know, read a whole author's backlist, which I have not done for a lot of authors. <laughs> so I have to try and think of who I can do that for. I'm thinking maybe Elizabeth Lim. I think she has five books out and I think she's bringing out another one next year. So maybe after that comes out, I'll try and rank her or something like that. Then goal number three is going to be to post twice a week on booktube. I I stopped that in the middle-ish of 2021 and then I have recently started doing it again and I really I really enjoyed posting twice a week again and obviously if I'm like stuck for time if I have exams etc and I can't do it I won't but if it is at all possible then I will try and get two videos out a week and I also would like to continue with reading sprints. I've been doing reading sprints every Tuesday at about 3 p.m. That time will be changing when my second semester starts in, at the, I think it would be the 18th of January I'll be doing some and I think it'll be like 4 p.m. GMT and yeah so I want to be do, continue doing those live reading sprints as well but that is kind of a more college semester thing because it's very hard to do that in the summer when the house is busy or whatever. So goal number four is the Goodreads slash Storygraph goal. I do have a Storygraph account. I don't use it too often. I actually think I do prefer Goodreads because I think, I think the Storygraph one, I like the idea behind it, but a lot of the time I don't want to put that much effort into like writing a review, like, oh, it's fast paced and all of this. And I kind of just prefer the layout of the Goodreads one, even though it can be like really annoying and really glitchy. And like, if they fix that, like Goodreads has the potential to be a good app. And especially since the fact, you know, it's Amazon, they can afford to make themselves a good app. <laughs> but that's a weird rant that doesn't really matter. But yeah, so those goals is the exact same as it was for 2021 which is to read 100 books and also on Storygraph you can also do a page goal and I'm going to be setting that for 40,000 which is the same that I also set it for this year. If I read 100 books it would be 400 pages per book which is a, like a good page count I think. Goal number five is like nearly the opposite of what I set for myself last year. It is still very similar in some ways because I do want to be a more critical reader. I'm always aiming to always become a better reviewer and always think harder about what I do and don't like about books and put it in more eloquent ways. But I do think that I'm not going to be using Call Pile next year. I do think I'm going to try and stick with the no point fives rate ratings because if you haven't used Call Pile, I do leave G's video link down below that explains it. But it is just one, two, three, four, or five. And I do like that. I don't really care about the point fives because you know point fives and then there's point two fives and it's just like why don't we just mark it out of 50? So like, where do you draw the line? Uh, 
so I'm for me I draw it at like 0.5 <laughs> I want to try and keep it one two three four or five but there is always a couple that you know don't quite fit into any of those and for that I will give 0.5s but I'm gonna try and be strict about one two three four five I'm gonna be stricter on my five star ratings because I think in the middle of the year I got a little too nice about it and I was just like I would finish a book and immediately be like oh my god it was great five stars and then I would go back like two weeks later and be like was it though <laughs> so I need to get better at that and then goal number six is about the age range so if you didn't know I have been reading a lot more adult this year and I want to continue that I think I'm trying to think of like what the numbers are so at the time of filming and obviously I still have a small bit more reading to do before the end of the year I am about 48% adult then then 36% is YA and the rest is middle grade last year my reading was about 70% YA so it's definitely you know decreased a lot and I have found that most of the books that I'm giving five stars to are the adult fantasy books it only makes sense for me to continue reading more adult fantasy and that's not to say that I don't want to read any YAs or middle grades that is not true especially if it's authors that I've already read and loved and if it's you know really hyped books etc I don't want to say like no I don't want to read that like I'm always going to be someone who will pick up a YA who will pick up a middle grade but I definitely leaning towards adult and that is the way I want my reading to be I'm probably I mean I would be pretty happy if it kept the 50% but I think mm, I think maybe 60% I feel like would be a good number to try and get to with the adult uh if it could be like 60 30 10 10 for middle grade obviously if it could be like that I think that's like a good proportion to have it at and then this goal might seem a little weird because if you know what my goal was last year it was to read more genres and this year I'm taking that back and saying no I want to read more fantasy which is a stupid goal because 53% of my reading this year was fantasy that is a whole load of fantasy and yet I want more because it's as I said with the adult books it's majority adult fantasy that is getting five stars for me so why do I want to room that <laughs> why do I want to read books that I know I'm not reading as highly I don't know and that's not to say that I don't want to read any because that is not true I want to read more I I love doing those like little trying things like when I tried mysteries or when I tried romance or when I tried you know all of this kind of stuff I love trying these different things I'm gonna continue to try them and do those like themed reading vlogs where I take a week and maybe I'll read like classics or you know literary fiction I don't know but like in my downtime I'm gonna be reading majority fantasy and that is the truth of it and then my final goal is a repeat goal from last year and that is to diversify my reading I think I kind of failed at it at the start of the year I think I was doing pretty good at it and as the year went on it just got worse and worse set myself a goal of reading more authors of color and reading more from lgbtq plus authors and I don't think I did as good a job as I wanted to and I'm hoping to improve on that this year so hopefully I can achieve them all in the next year so then just to quickly go through what my goals were last year and whether or not I achieved them hi so I got cut off there my first goal for 2021 was to diversify my reading and as I said I'm pretty sure I failed this I do think I got better but not nearly as good as it should be number two was to read more genres and I do think I did succeed in this but as I said I don't really want this goal anymore <laughs> number three was to read more adult books and I actually put some like figures down and I was saying about 45% YA 40% adult 15% male grade which is actually very different I ended up reading more adult than I did YA so yay for me I fully achieved that goal number four was to be a more critical reader which yes at the start of the year and now a little bit of lapse in the middle of the year and I did use call file which was like a sub goal there number five was to read 100 books which I have not technically done 
but I will be doing that very soon. I'm on 98 and it is only the 29th of November when I'm filming this so it's gonna get done. The sixth goal was to post two times a week. As I said in the middle of the year I did stop that but I'm back on it again and I feel like I like 50% completed that goal but this is the second goal in there which was to uh, revive my bookstagram which I have not touched that all year. And then the seventh goal was to make more themed reading vlogs which as I said I feel like with a lot of these goals I was very good at the start of the year and very good at the end but in the middle I just nope and I feel like that's the same with these as well because I also feel like at the start of the year I did a good few because I did the reading romance I did the musical one I did the figure skating one and then these past couple months I've done you know the mystery the horror the middle grades the reading Rebecca's but like in the middle, like in like the summer months, I can't really remember. I suppose I did like the Kathy Cassidy one, <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I did many during like those summer months. So I'm gonna give myself that one, but barely. So that brings us to the end of this video. Tell me some of your goals down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.